What's going on YouTube? So today I want to talk about the Xbox One and DirectX 12 and how some developers are saying that this could result in a double the performance for the graphics. So this article will be in the description if you want to read the article for yourself. But basically it's um, guys interviewed from a development team that's making a demo that's going to really utilize DirectX 12 uh, for the Xbox One PC and whatnot. And this is what he, some of the stuff he had to say. So at the This Week in Build, um, the Microsoft show, they showed off DirectX 12 and the stuff that it could do a demonstration. And it showed that it could literally double the performance of the games and applications on the Xbox One. And Mantle was released earlier this year. And the real problem with Mantle is it's only available on certain AMD products. So you're skipping out on, on all the other manufacturers. See with DirectX 12, it'll be available to any PC, uh, not any PC, as long as you have the um, certified one, but you don't need an AMD graphics card. You can get a NVIDIA card. Um, it'll work on the Xbox One. It'll work on certain phones and tablets. It's available to more people, which therefore more developers will take advantage of. And he wrote, this is a quote from him, with relatively little effort by developers, they will see a double in performance with DirectX 12. And he emphasized how literally you will see a doubling in performance. And he also said that, um, so the games that are currently on the Xbox One, some of them struggle at 720p. This will be able to reach 1080p natively with great performance which a lot of gamers have been looking forward to a while and some people may ask um, how is this actually possible well with DirectX 12 the two main things that really emphasize this is bundles and parallel re rendering but most of this um, great performance that you're going to get out of it is from the multi-core um, CPU support right now the average game or application takes advantage of maybe takes advantage of one two maybe three if they really take um, advantage of the hardware but there's a reason why Microsoft and Sony and all them decided to put eight cores into their machines so when DX12 comes out they will take advantage of all eight cores which therefore create better performance and what he kind of um, made it an allegory to or like a metaphor type thing was it effectively gives the Xbox One owners a twice as fast GPU than the old one, which is kind of cool. Um, just to see, uh, maybe a year from now, all of a sudden your games are looking amazing. I mean, right now the games do look really good, and then just to see them get even better, we knew that this was going to happen over the time. As Microsoft puts out new SDKs, new software, that the games would be looking better. But this will be a huge jump. Once you see games take full advantage of this new software, um, I'm not saying that the Xbox One is going to all of a sudden increase their teraflops from 1.3 to 5, whatever, but what it really is going to do is optimize the machine to really take advantage of the 1.3 teraflops that the GPU is supposed to have. And that's what we've been waiting for because right now developers really are not taking advantage of the full hardware that Microsoft is giving them with the Xbox One and this will take advantage of it. I know recently they've been putting out new stuff out there which has been taking advantage of it better but we're still not close to the 1.3 teraflops we're supposed to be getting and once we get that you're going to notice a huge difference it's going to be like like he said you got a brand new GPU but really you didn't. Um, games will be looking so much better um, all games probably all games will be running at 1080p 60 FPS which is really exciting and games will be looking very 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 similar to PS4 you won't be able to notice a difference even now games um, you can't really tell a difference sometimes the frame rate may be a little bit better on other platforms but this will make it look so similar and you won't be able to tell a difference and I'm looking forward to it and I think a lot of other gamers are looking forward to it too. 
So the link's in the description to read the article for yourself, make your own opinions. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and leave me down in the comment section below on what you think of DirectX 12 and the Xbox One. And I'll see you next time.